Well, hi guys. I am so attractive. Um, but guess who woke up sick? So two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, I got sick. It was really minor. It just took a lot of energy out, obviously. Then last week, my mom, Justin, and then Joshua all got what we think is was the flu. All the symptoms. They, I mean, they didn't go and get it, like, confirmed, obviously. Um, but during that whole time, I was quarantined in my room. When I mean quarantine, I mean, like, I eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner in my room, basically. Take my meds in my room. Obviously, I could go out to go to the bathroom or stand on the hallway for a few minutes. But really, I was quarantined to my room because every, almost everybody else was sick. And apparently, as hard as we tried... I woke up with the cough, and now I'm really starting to feel not great. My nose is runny. <coughs> so I took elderberry syrup today, ibuprofen because my throat started hurting, and then Ocil something. I don't remember what it's called. I don't. All I know is that it's something... That has helped people with the flu. I don't know. But I am... I have numbing cream on. And if you're like, where's your family? My mom and Justin went to run an errand really quick. And Dee's outside. Playing happy as can be. I'm just real frustrated. I'm frustrated. Hey guys, as you can kind of tell between the last clip and this clip, there's a significant change. And the biggest significant change is that I'm no longer sick and it is over a week later. After the footage I vlogged, I was bombarded with all the flu symptoms. What is my hair doing right here? And I started feeling really horrible really fast and it was one of those times where I was in survival mode and there was no way Jose was going to pick up anything to vlog I was like it was I got pretty sick and we en I ended up going to the doctor the next day to get a rapid flu test and I was prescribed Tamiflu this flu hit me so hard and when you have a chronic illness and you're immune compromised, it can hit you even harder and it can trigger other things. For me, it definitely triggered up my dysautonomia and my POTS. Thankfully, everything else pretty much seemed to be relatively okay. I had symptoms, you know, but it wasn't like super bad. But the biggest thing is whenever I get sick, ever, whether it is a minor cold or if it is something like the flu, or even a stomach virus, it can get really bad really quickly. It can trigger a metabolic shutdown because that's what happened four years ago back in 2016. And thankfully I was able to be okay, but I just got a simple virus. Don't mind my brothers in the background. And that nearly killed me. So we don't tread lightly when it comes to me being sick. And especially something like the flu, where the flu can be really, really dangerous for me. So, like I mentioned, rapid flu test, and I was prescribed Tamiflu. I have heard mixed reviews about Tamiflu, about how it's really, really helped so, so many people, but it's also caused a lot of not great side effects for a lot of other people. And for every med I try, it's always like a 50-50 chance. And I researched the side effects, I looked at it, and made sure obviously there was like no interactions, which there wasn't. Obviously, I wasn't expecting there to be. Um, and my pediatrician said, yeah, you need Tamiflu. And my genetic doctor said, I think you're really going to benefit from Tamiflu and at least try it. And that kind of sealed the deal for me. So I started taking it, and thankfully I had no weird side effects. 
and that seriously helped me get over the flu so much quicker than if I would have had to do it on my own because it's not like it's something where I can take antibiotics. Um, so by probably day three of being sick, my chills were gone. And by the fourth day, I had no fever. And I haven't had a fever in years. You might think that's an exaggeration, but it literally isn't. I always have a very low body temperature. And um, I had... I was dealing with fever, so we had to try to keep that under control. Thankfully, those eventually went away. And all the other symptoms, you know, just kind of came and went, like, painful throat, which actually just stopped hurting the other day. Cough, still have it, and random spurts, um, but, like, chills are gone. Full body weakness and aches are gone. And I had one day where I was nauseous, but I don't know if that was because of Tamiflu or if that was because I was sick, because no matter when I get sick, no matter if there are any medications I am on to help me get better, my GI system is always impacted. So I just had a sofa on that day and that helped. And obviously I lost my appetite and stuff like that. But overall, I'm very grateful I tried that. And I'm very grateful I am finally off of fluids. And it just feels so good to be free from them. So I'm just really grateful about that. I'm trying to think if I've left out anything. Sick-wise, I'm all better. And now I'm just working on building up my endurance. So, yeah. That's the fun life of having a chronic illness. Is that something as... I mean, granted, it's not simple. But something like the flu can be pretty... I should say dangerous. More dangerous in my case and I'm so glad I was able to get over it because I was really really scared I wasn't going to because my body was struggling. I'm rambling now but thank you guys so much for watching this entire video. I'm excited to get more videos up. I'm so sorry videos have been backed up because I was sick so hopefully that will change soon but don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.